The biggest piggy build mode update is finally out and here is everything new that has been added. First we have the newest weather blocks, the rain block and the snow block. These blocks are basically just effects that you can put on your map in order to make it either rain or snow. But that's not all, you can even scale them to make them as big as you want just like this and you can have a lot of snow in your maps. We also have a new NPC, the Doggy Enemy NPC, and this one works basically exactly like the Soldier NPC, but with a small twist. Both the Doggy NPC and the Soldier's NPC are basically just dumb NPCs walking around the map with no reason, but what makes Doggy interesting is that he has the ability from the forest map that when you get near him, you will have a symbol on your head that shows the piggy where you are, which is really cool. And for those who like to create ending cutscenes, we also have a new actor in here, and that is the Rash actor, the non-infected Rash version. As you can see, this is the newest actor for the ending cutscenes creator. But now let's take a look at all the events that were added to this update. The first one is the grass event from the store map and it works really simple. You put a grass event on the ground, you then select an item that you want to get out of it. You need to have the scissors item as well placed. Just take the scissors and then you cut the grass and you'll have the item right here. These two events are pretty similar to each other because they both need the same item to get an item out of it. First we have the vending machine and the claw machine. These two events require the same item, that being the coin, but we have two types of coins. First we have the normal coin right here and then we have a stackable coin. Basically you can have more coins in, in your inventory which is super interesting. And once again you can have right here whatever item you want to get out of each machine. We can put right here, then we're gonna hit play. Let's try the stacked ones, there it is, these are the stacked coins basically. You can have as many coins as you want in your inventory. And we're gonna put the coins right here. As we can see, we got the red key. And for the claw machine, one and the second one. And there we go. We have the purple key as well. We also have the mallet game event from the carnival map. And for this one, you actually need the mallet item right here. In order to use it, you can put whatever item you want to get out of it. We're gonna hit play. We're gonna take the mallet right here, use it. And there we go, we're gonna get the blue key. But one of the biggest events in build mode that has been added is officially now the vault door from the hunt map. This thing is huge and you can use it for a lot of cool stuff. But as you can see, we can select right here. We need, we need a code, so let's say the code will be 356. There we go, we're gonna hit play. And we will need to go to these buttons right here and put a code 35 and six there we go and the vault is going to open and you will be able to enter inside this will be an amazing event to use in a lot of build mode maps but we also have new doors for example they have added the heist door from the heist map the tall door from the mansion map and the glass door from the port map three new doors and this one is super huge holy but let's also take a look at some events that I have no idea how to use because they are connected with the links category. First of all we have the info block, we also have the newest cure blocks which probably turns infected into players I'm guessing, I have no idea. We have the power safe which will be really useful, the explosion block and the desk event. <laughs> look at this, this is the, the event from the breakout chapter which is amazing. The only one I know how to use is this one because it basically works exactly like the breakout one. You, you need to get all the tables in the right places. So just like this, we're gonna get yellow here, we're gonna get red right here, there we go. Table will go on the blue spot, green table right in here. And you can also link this event to another door or gate or whatever. So if you complete this event, you will open a gate or anything else that you want. But what happens if you stay on the black paths for too long? Well, let's see. We're gonna stay right here. The hand is gonna come out. It's gonna teleport something. And there we go. The Ombra skin in a purple version is gonna come following me. This is insane. And we also have some new blocks and decorations. For example, they have finally added the long-weighted corner stairs right here so now we can even make pyramids with these things which are really cool everybody's been waiting for corner stairs which is amazing and talking about corner stairs and blocks we can also see now we have the favorite button right here so you can press on this star right here on every item that you want 
and we have a new category called favorite which you will be able to see all your favorite blocks that you favorited which is amazing but besides that we also now have the chamber decoration no this isn't the piggy trap that we used this is a decoration which is super cool we now also have the grass patch and from what we remember earlier in the video it was an event but it is also a decoration as well and now we have fire as a decoration this fire does not need the fire extinguisher to use it this is just decoration for your map, which is super amazing. And as it has been promised by Epic Tank, we now also have linkable doors. So you can use the green key and all of the doors will open. And that also goes for the plank as well. You put a plank right here and all the planks will be placed at once. And this was a really requested feature by the Piggy community. But that's not all. We now also have a new texture called Neon. And this is how it looks like on any blocks. And you can place any color and it's going to glow a lot. We also have two new game modes. These being the tag game mode that is in Piggy. And the newest survivor bot game mode. And by going to the settings and clicking on game. We also have a few more stuff here. The first one being the changing the survivor model for everybody at the same time. So you can select any character from all of these right here. Let's say I'm going to select Tig Reject. And whenever I'm going to click play, everybody in the server is going to play as Tig Reject. But another thing that has been added here is the custom mode for time of day. If we click right here, we can actually now select the time of day that we want to have. So we can see we can make it midnight or the full day or the sunlight or however you want. And you can also choose the sky. This is the default sky that we have right now. But you can also choose the breakout sky. Let's say the mansion sky. Or even the ship sky which I think is the coolest of them all. Because it looks really creepy with this one. But for our last two things we now have the second auto cutscene. If we hit right here we have the auto scene. But here we have the second auto scene. Which is basically the second ending that you can make for your chapter but we also have the newest toggle backups button and it says here warning something 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 i have no idea what this is and i'm not even gonna read it so let's just confirm this um i have no idea what any of this means so i think i just deleted all my piggy maps please like the video and thanks for watching